video what is up guys today I'm gonna be performing and then teaching this really easy about only two slab of hand moves it's really easy really cool ace prediction card trick or any four of a kind card trick so I'm just gonna take out the deck right here it's kind of a prediction card trick so I'm going to uh, look for a prediction card and I'm going to stick it right here off to the side and I'm not going to change it for the rest of the trick so I'd have a spectator to tell me when to stop but I don't have one here with me so I'm just going to say stop wherever I like so right here I say stop and then the card and I can see it too it's okay so the card right here is the ace of clubs stick it down there so I'd, if I had a spectator, I'd ask them to stick the Ace of Cups as close to the middle as they can. So that seems uh, pretty good. And I'd actually have want to take the Ace of Clubs and turn it face up like this. So that way I can close the cards. And then I can spread through. That was a terrible spread. I just got to do it with my hands. Spread through. And I can still see the Ace of Clubs in its position just still upside down which just bothered me and we're going to take the card on top of it and the card below it but before we look at those two cards we're going to take a look at the prediction card so this didn't change the entire time and the prediction card is the ace of spades so right here right now we have the two black aces which must mean that these are the two red aces so let's get right into this trick tutorial all right, so this trick has a small setup. So uh, for me, I like to use the aces, but you can use any four of a kind. And I like to take the ace of diamonds and put it on the bottom, the ace of hearts, put it on the top, the ace of clubs, put that on the top, and then have the ace of spades out so I can have that card as my prediction. So I take the ace of spades out, put it over off to the side as my prediction card, and then here's the little slide of hand. This is called the slip force, where you slide a card off the top like that. But you want it to do it quickly. And be that's because you're forcing uh, the ace of clubs right here. And I like to force the ace of clubs because it matches the ace of spades with the color. So if they, they can say stop wherever they want. And I just do the slip force. And there's the card and you can see it too and then you leave the ace of hearts on the top you leave that top packet back on top so here's what you have so far the ace of diamonds on the bottom ace of hearts on top ace of clubs ace of spades now I would ask a spectator to take the ace of clubs and stick it as close to the middle as they can and I like them to stick it as close to the middle as they can because of this next part so they stick it face down, and then you say, oh, actually, I want it face up. And this is where the next small slide happens. So you spread through to where you see that, and then with your dominant hand, you want to flip your hand over, because if you take your uh, non-dominant hand and flip it over, you flash the ace, and you don't want to flash the ace. So you uh, flip your non-dominant hand, grab the card with your thumb, turn it face up, and then scrap the deck cards. So now you can say, okay, so I scrap up the card so that way I can, I mean, I turn the card face up so that way I can still see it, and now I can spread through the cards. That's how I like to say it. And I must have skipped it. There it is. And then you want to take the card on top, which is uh, one of the aces, and then the card on bottom, which is the other ace. And then uh, for the reveal of the uh, aces, I like to turn over the ace of spades first, so that way they can see the two corresponding colored aces. And then they realize, oh, then these must be the other aces. And they think, how did I put the ace of clubs right in between these two? So that is a very powerful trick. And I'm going to go over uh, one more time real quickly. Okay, personally, again, I like to stick one of the red aces on bottom and the other aces on top. I like to stick the 
uh, other red ace on top, then the ace of clubs, and then the ace of spades. Then I set the ace of spades as a prediction off to the side. I do the slip force to uh, force the ace of clubs. Stick the rest of the packet on top. Then I have them stick the card face down as close to the middle as they can. Then I spread through with my non-dominant hand. I flip the cards over to grab this card down here with my thumb and then turn it face up and then put this half on top. And what you're actually doing here is you're switching the halves. So again, and now if we go through, you have forced uh, this ace on top of it and this ace on top of it. And then of course you have your prediction right over here. I accidentally missed a card over here. So uh, now here's the thing. You're not supposed to perform the same trick twice, but like if somebody's seen the trick before and then you perform it to their friend, they may uh, catch on. So let me just set this back up real quick. So they may catch on and say, so after you control the ace of clubs and then you have them stick it as close to the middle, their friend may say, oh, they'll actually want you to stick the card face up. So then they stick the card face up and then I'm like, no, 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 actually I want the card face down this time. I don't know what your friend is talking about, but I want the card face down. So that's what you can do if, and then you can turn the cards face up and then that's how you can deal with if somebody just tries to screw up your magic trick. And there, you still have the four of a kind. Right, so now I'm gonna have one last little clip of me performing for a real spectator to how I would actually perform it. So I'm gonna look for a prediction card. Okay, I found one, and I'm gonna take it and stick it into my pocket. Okay, now can you please tell me when to stop? Stop. Okay, and please take that, and please show it to the camera. Now, can you please stick that card as close to the middle as you can? A little bit higher, please. All right, that's pretty good. Not really, but that's okay. Uh, now I'm gonna actually turn the card face up like this, so that way I can close and screw up the cards and still see the location of your ace of clubs. Now can you please uh, take these three cards, the card on top and the card on bottom, and show just the ace of clubs to the camera right now? So before we look at the other two face down cards, we're gonna take a look at this prediction card. So, so far, this is the ace of spades. So, so far we have the two black aces. So where are those other two cards? All right. All right, if you enjoy that trick, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more uh, card trick tutorials or anything like that, be sure to comment down below. And also hit that little bell to get notified whenever I put new videos out. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.